Hi! Do you shy away from stamp sets with a lot of detail? Like the new Stampin' Up! Bright Wishes stamp set? Do you look at that and think, oh my goodness, there's so much to color in. We've got the well in all of those flowers. Well, if so, I'm going to show you an easy way to fill it in with color so you can make quick and attractive handmade greeting cards. Welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles. And for 16 years, I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. So while designing my Bright Wishes card, I wondered if something would work. And it did. I'm going to show that to you as well. Here's a closer view of the Bright Wishes stamp set in all that wonderful detail with the well. Now you need something with a lot of detail like this for the technique I'm about to show you. So let's get started. I have some Whisper White cardstock and then our Wishing Well stamp. And it's a good size stamp. So I'm going to put that rubber side up and then I'm going to use the new 2017-2019 Tranquil Tide Classic Stampin' Pad. We're going to push, flip, and lock that lid into place. And see, this way I can ink it up really well. There we go. Good, good, good coverage. All right, to close this, we're going to pull on that lip, flip, and click. Okay, and so let's go ahead and stamp. I'm just going to press everywhere for really good coverage. All right, let's see. Isn't that pretty? Now you could use it just like that. There's so much detail you could, but I'm going to show you how to shade it in and it's so easy to do. We're going to use a blender pen. Now classic stamping pads, this is important. These are dye based ink pads. It means they're water based. They're dye ink pads. They're water based. Okay, so they're dry to the touch, but because they're water-based, when you apply moisture to them, the color bleeds. So I've got a blender pen, and let's go ahead and take that off. Now watch, super easy. We're just gonna go over the lines and look at the shading that we get. What it's doing is pulling some of the color from those lines. And so we're just going to follow and look, shade, shade in. Isn't this cool? All right, and so let's get our flowers. And so we're going to end up with a monochromatic card doing this, but uh, wait till you see it all shaded in. It's just really attractive. And look how fast and easy it is to do. Okay, so now that we got around all of that stuff, look, now we don't have to be precise. I just didn't want to go outside the edge. I don't know with this look if it would look good going outside the lines, but look at the shading. And it's not hurting our lines. We still have all the beautiful detail. Because the blender pen does not put down much moisture. Just enough to, hey, blend, right? Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Easy, easy, easy to do. And so if you've been shying away from detailed stamps because you just don't like the idea of, of all the coloring, now you've got a new way to do it. Now, it does have to have a lot of detail. You, um, you know, an outline stamp with a lot of detail, so you have color to pull from. If the, if the image doesn't have that much detail, there's not much to pull from, so you really do want something like this. Isn't that sharp? <laughs> okay, and let me show you the card I made. Isn't that pretty? So we kept it monochromatic, you know, using the same color um, cardstock as the ink and accessory and just oh so sweet. So then I got wondering, I thought, hmm, what would happen? Here we go. I have one that I did everything but the flowers. I didn't shade them in. I thought, could I possibly add color just to the roses with, you know, will that work? Well, let's give it a try. So I chose the Berry Burst Classic Stampin' Pad. We're going to push, flip, and we've got a little bit of color in that lid. I put, here, well, let me show you. I pressed down with my thumb, or actually the palm of my hand, or you can do your thumbs if they're strong, to get some color into that lid. There we go. And so then with the blender pen, to change colors, you just wipe it, clean it off, Let's go over here, pick up a little bit of berry burst, and fill in just the roses.
and it was working. I chose a, a pink that was dark enough that if the green did bleed some, it wouldn't be obvious. I don't think I would want to try this with, uh, say, the new powdered pink or pink pirouette. They're just so light. I bet some of the green would bleed in, but with this nice vibrant berry burst, you don't see it. And isn't that sharp? Just that little burst of color. And the tip is so fine, you can get in there and do those small flowers. So there we go. Isn't that sharp? Would you like to see a card that I did with this too? All right, same layout, just change things up a little bit. I was able to add some more color with the beautiful roses colored in. Isn't that just so much fun? So now you're gonna look at your um, detailed stamp sets with a new light. You know, you're gonna look at them and go, oh, or maybe not shy away from something like the beautiful new Stampin' Up! Bright Wishes stamp set. If you'd like to learn even more card making techniques, you know, techniques that are doable, well, check out my membership site, Stamping Playground. Just go to www.stampingplayground.com to learn more. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.